A right triangle has side lengths A and B and hypotenuse length C. Find the unknown side length. So for 5, we have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This would be 25 and 49. So if we add those together, that would be 74 is C squared. So we can square root both sides, giving us C is the square root of 75. For this one, oh, that one has A and B also. I'm going to do number four. We have A squared plus 5 squared equals C squared. This time we would need to subtract or move it to the other side. Then we'd have a squared equals 24. So a is the square root of 24. If these come out to whole numbers, please make sure that you convert them to whole numbers rather than leaving them in the square root format. Dylan's Entertainment Center has a rectangular opening for a TV. The opening is 50 inches wide and 30 inches tall. The size of a TV is described by its diagonal. So it is 50 inches wide and 30 inches tall. But we are looking at a TV measurement along the diagonal. Which is the largest TV from the list that Dylan can fit in his Entertainment Center? Explain. So if I had 50 squared plus 30 squared, that would give me the length of the diagonal squared because this is a right angle in a rectangular entertainment center. Well, 50 squared, that would be 50 times 50 or 2,500. 30 squared is 900. If we add those two things together, we get 3,400. Then to find the diagonal, we need to square root. Which gives us approximately 58 point one. So the longest TV that can fit would be this 55 inches. 60 is too big and 65 is too large. In the book, What's Your Angle, Pythagoras, Saltos and Pepros argue because their 12-foot ladder does not reach a temple roof, as shown. What height does the ladder reach on the temple wall? Round to the nearest tenth of a foot. This is the hypotenuse that goes in the C's position. We don't know this length here, so I'm going to use B to represent that. 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144, so we move the 25 over, so B is the square root of 19. It says round your answer to the nearest tenth of a foot. So if we type in our calculator, the square root of 19 gives us 4.358 and so on, but the tenths place would be here. So the 5, we have to look at the 5. If it's 5 or more, we increase to 4.4 feet.
the area of the right triangle is 26.46 square units. What is the perimeter of the triangle? So this is a multi-part question. We know that you can find the area of a triangle by using half the base times the height. Well, here I have the height. This would be represented by the base. So let's plug in the pieces of information we know. The area is 26.46. The half stays. B remains B. And the height is 6.3. So we can calculate half of 6.3 would be 3.15. And then we still have B is multiplied in, and 26.46 is the area. So to solve it for B, we're going to divide both sides by 3.15. This leaves us with B, and over here when we type this into our calculator, we get 8.4. So now I know this dimension is 8.4. To find the perimeter, I need this side length as well. So I have 6.3 squared plus 8.4 squared equals c squared. So 6.3 squared is 39.69. 8.4 squared is 70.56. Add those together. Is 110.25. Then take the square root of both sides. So C is 10.5. To find the perimeter, we add up all the side lengths. So 10.5 plus 6.3 plus 8.4 will give us our perimeter, which is 25.2 units. So our focus question is, does the bat fit inside the box? Let's watch for some key details this time. You can see here that it says it's 32 inches. If we skip ahead, we can see the box. It says 20 by 20, so it's a 20 inch cube. Okay, somehow my video paused mid recording, so I'm going to start that piece over. If this is already in there, just go ahead and skip. We have the 20 by 20 cube. 
we talked about how it goes diagonal across the bottom. I'm going to label that with x. That would be 400 plus 400 equals x squared. If I square root both sides, that gives me that the value of x is approximately 28.28, but the bat was 32 inches, so it won't fit across the bottom. But if we create a right triangle going diagonally from the bottom to the top right corner, we have this x value is now a leg with the 20. So we have the square root of 800 squared plus 20 squared equals c squared. We talked about how a square root and a square undo each other. 20 squared is 400. If I add those together, I get 1,200. So to solve it for c, I'm taking the square root of both sides. And c is approximately 34.64. Since the bat is only 32 inches, it will fit diagonally from the bottom corner to the opposite top corner in the box. Now let's check out part two. So you can see in that clip that it was not laying flat across the bottom of the box, but it was laying diagonally through the middle. Please make sure your workbook is filled in and your warm-up is finished for this lesson.